Welcome to the top 10 rarest Pokemon in Pokemon Go. What's rarer than a Dragonite or even a Charizard? Well, today we're going to be taking a look at those Pokemon that are seriously hard to find. And if you've come across them in the wild or you've already caught them and you've got them on your Pokedex, you're doing a seriously good job. Now, if you guys have been following my Pokemon Go journey, you know we've been grinding away, catching as many Pokemon as possible. And I currently have 85 of the 151 total Pokemon available in Pokemon Go. So before we get into this top 10 list, I want you guys to leave a comment down below letting me know how many Pokemon you've caught so far in Pokemon Go. Since I have so many of you guys tweeting me Pokemon that you obtain all of the time, this top 10 list will be compiled of Pokemon that you guys just never tweet me because they're far too rare and also some Pokemon out there that can only be obtained in very specific methods and we'll be covering it all right here in the top 10 list. So if you guys are excited to find out which of those Pokemon are the rarest in Pokemon Go, give it a thumbs up. Without further ado, let's kick it off with number 10. At number 10, we have got the huge, the massive, the sleepy and very fat Snorlax. This guy is an awesome, awesome Pokemon and he blocks all your roots in the Pokemon game but in Pokemon Go, if you've got him on your team, he is a solid, solid squad member. Snorlax can be obtained through the 10 kilometer eggs. The eggs that obviously take the longest to hatch and have the rarest Pokemon inside them and I was fortunate enough to get Snorlax through that method. However, if you go out in the wild and try and find this guy, it is not an easy find at all. If you see any out in the wild, make sure you're catching him, you're probably going to be need to be using Great Balls and Ultra Balls because this guy is not easy to catch. At number 9, we have Lapras, another Pokemon that can be obtained through the 10 kilometer eggs, used in the Pokemon game as the avatar that you jump into and surf around the map. This guy is super popular, but at the same time, super rare. If you're hatching those 10k eggs and you get a Lapras, count yourself lucky because it's an extremely strong Pokemon. However, again, finding this guy in the wild is no easy feat, and if you see him come up on your nearby by list, spend some time tracking him down because he will be a worthwhile catch and a very good asset to your Pokemon Go squad. Now I've been fortunate enough to get Lapras and Snorlax in 10k eggs, but as we progress up these lists, there's a lot of Pokemon that I don't have, but I really, really want. <laughs> Yo! At number 8, we have the legendary Gyarados. This guy is a monster, evolving from the pathetic and useless magic harp, he turns into an absolute sea demon with very high CP levels, but he is a huge, huge grind to evolve in the Pokemon Go game, needing 400 of the Magikarp candies to evolve, and finding him out in the wild naturally is no easy feat, and if you do come across him, make sure you're capturing him. Now, I've been grinding out Magikarps since day one of the release of this game, and I'm only about 150 candies into this evolution, but if you guys have got anywhere near 400 candies and have made the evolution from Magikarp to Gyarados, you know he's a super strong Pokemon, and he should be treasured with within your Pokemon Go squad. Now, if you guys don't even want to face the idea of just going out and trying to find this rare Gyarados Pokemon, and instead you go for the grinding of 400 candies, make sure you're saving your highest CP magic harp. So obviously, when it evolves, it will turn into the best Gyarados possible. So if you're on that 400 magic harp candy grind, good luck, my friends. Gyarados is awesome. At number seven, we have Chansey, one of my favorite original 151 Pokemon. This guy is stacked in the HP department having tons and tons of health so he can get beaten up but still stand many many hits. Now I was fortunate enough to hatch this guy from an egg in Pokemon Go but I've seen barely anyone get this guy out in the wild and if you've ever played the Pokemon games you know that the only way of getting Chansey in the originals was to go into the Safari Zone and just cross your fingers and hope you came across a Chansey. It was not easy but if you did grind out and finally found one it was amazing and it's the exact same case in Pokemon Go. It's no easy find but if you've got one treasure it because it is an awesome Pokemon. Coming in at number six, we have, that's right, Dragonite himself. But wait a second, why is he only number six? Surely he's higher up on this list. Well, there's harder Pokemon to find than Dragonite, my friend. This guy's a part of a three-stage evolution, starting off with Dratini, then Dragonair, and finishing off with the badass himself, Dragonite. Now, you're going to need a lot of Dratini candies, and they are not easy to find. You can get Dratinis from 10k eggs, which gives you a nice boost of candy, but it's still extremely hard to get everything needed necessary to evolve into a Dragonite, let alone try to find him in the wild. 
Now, at the beginning of this video, I mentioned that a lot of this ordering is to do with how much you guys tweet me this Pokemon and just my overall opinion as to how rare they are. But I do actually get tweeted Dragonite quite a lot, more so because it's such a strong and awesome Pokemon to get. But simply finding it in the wild is no easy feat. And if you ever see a Dragonite on your nearby list, you are in serious, serious good luck, my friends. It definitely will not be an easy capture, but to have a Pokemon so strong as Dragonite on your team, you are going to smash everybody. So do let me know down below in the comment section. Are you close to getting a Dragonite? Are you trying to get a Dragon Knight? Or maybe you've even found one in the wild because he is awesome. At number five, we have Alakazam. That's right, a part of a three-stage evolution starting off with Abra, then Kadabra, and finishing off with the man himself, Alakazam. This guy is, again, one of the strongest Pokemon in Pokemon Go, but you just do not see him. He is extremely rare, extremely strong, and you need a lot of Abra candies to evolve this guy into his full evolution. In my whole Pokemon Go journey so far, I've had one Abra from an egg, Another Abra I found in the wild and he ran straight away. So these guys are not easy to capture at all. He may be a little bit of a surprise being so far up on the list. Maybe you have him yourself. And if you do, count yourself lucky because he's such a strong Pokemon in Pokemon Go. If not, I would definitely recommend you hunt down those Abras and start off his evolution chain because he is a beast and is definitely worthy of his top 10 list. At number four, we have Porygon. A weird Pokemon, a computer robot-like Pokemon that doesn't really fit into the original one. 151 and this guy is extremely rare. You can also get him from eggs, but if you see him out in the wild, count yourself lucky. Now, I have actually found him out in the wild in a video before. It was when I went hunting for a Scyther, uh, and I ended up raging trying to capture him, if you guys have seen that episode already. But right at the beginning of that capture, we actually found a Porygon on our nearby list. Now, I didn't realize how rare it was at the time, so I left it alone. But since then, I have never, ever seen it on my nearby list. And only a few of you guys ever tweet me him. And when you do, either you guys don't know who he is, or you count yourself lucky because you no, he's not an easy Pokemon to find at all. Now, this guy is just a one-stage evolution. He gets additional evolutions later on into Pokemon, but at the moment, Pokemon Go only has the original 151. So if you hatch him with an egg or find him in the wild, count yourself lucky because he's a great Pokemon. At number three, things start getting interesting. We've got Venusaur, Charizard, and Blastoise all coming in at the number three spot. Obviously, the full evolutions of all the starter Pokemon available in Pokemon Go. These guys are strong. They are awesome. Everybody wants one, and if you ever just simply find one out in the wild, you have found an extremely rare Pokemon. Now, if you're out and about and you see a Zubat or a Pidgey or a Rattata, they're common, you see them all the time, but these Pokemon, the final stage evolutions of Squirtle, Charmander, and Bulbasaur, are only going to appear in certain areas for a certain amount of time, and then they'll go and disappear to another area. So if you ever see them on your nearby list, you have a limited amount of time to find it before it is going to disappear. Now, obviously, you can still just simply evolve these guys from the starting Pokemon you've chosen. And you can find Squirtles, Charmanders, and Bulbasaurs out in the wild, but they're not easy to get enough candies to do the full evolution. So it goes without saying, these guys are awesome, they're rare, and if you've got them in your squad, well done. Coming in at number two, we've got region-specific Pokemon. That's right, we've got Tauros, we've got Mr. Mime, we've got Farfetch'd, and Kangaskhan. These guys can only be found in the wild in certain regions in the world. Taurus can only be found in the wild in America, Kangaskhan can only be found in Australasia, Mr. Mine can only be found in Europe, and Farfetch can only be found in Asia. So these guys come in at the number two spot because you simply cannot find them unless you travel the world, making completing your Pokedex even harder. Now you can hatch all of these guys from eggs, but they go into the 5k egg category. And in that category, there are a lot of Pokemon. So getting all four of these just from eggs will take a lot of grinding a lot of hatching and will not be easy at all. So they're not only rare, they're impossible to get in certain parts of the world. So you've got to do some traveling or get really lucky in your eggs. And that's why all four of these guys come in at the number two spot. And finally, guys, for the grand number one spot, what have we got going on? Well, we have legendaries, my friend. We've got Mew. We've got Mewtwo. We've got Articuno. We've got Moltres. We've got Zapdos. We've also got Ditto. Why do these come in at the number one spot? Well, all of them are not available and have never been found as of yet of making this video within Pokemon Go. These legendaries are rumored to be coming through special events that have not been announced yet. I did a whole video talking about how I think we're going to be able to capture Mewtwo specifically because it was a Pokemon shown in the original Pokemon Go trailer. So you can find that on my channel. I'll link it down below. But all these Pokemon, as I 
said have not been captured and literally are impossible at the time of making this video and of course should therefore go in a number one spot. Now I've seen a couple of countdown videos that have just listed all of these guys at different numbers. I didn't think that was fair. If you can't find them, you can't find them. So I've rolled them all into this top position. So if you're sitting there thinking, well how on earth do I get these Pokemon? Well as soon as they're announced and as soon as we find out how you can get these legendaries, including Ditto, you'll find out first right here on my channel my friends. Obviously Ditto is a weird one. It's not a legendary Pokemon. It's a very specific Pokemon. It can transform into whichever Pokemon it's battling. So it's a very unique one. But how is that going to be captured? Again, we have yet to find out, but I'll let you guys know as soon as we do. So guys, that's going to conclude my top 10 rarest Pokemon Go Pokemons. If you've got any of these, leave them down below in the comment section because you're doing a fantastic job. And if you want to see more top 10 videos, give it a thumbs up. It's the first time I've ever done a top 10 anything video on YouTube. So hopefully you've really enjoyed it. I've had a lot of fun putting it together and I'd love to do more of these for you guys. So as I said, as soon as we find out how to get those legendaries and ditto, I'll let you guys know straight away. We'll be continuing our Pokemon Go adventure tomorrow. Do not worry when we go out, catch a new Pokemon, hatch new Pokemon, and have fun playing Pokemon Go. So thank you so much for watching, guys. You're the best. Stay tuned for more Pokemon Go videos, and I'll see you tomorrow.